What's up guys, this is Blash from Racing Brick. Yes, yet another Technic DOS charger video. I hope you don't get bored with them. This will be a quick one. I will show you how can you fix the stance of the charger in less than 5 minutes. So here's the car and I still can't get over this lifted look with these huge rims and low profile tires. Every time I look at it, I actually see this. Might be appealing for some, but sorry, not for me. By the way, if you dig this look, this is the wheel size of the Porsche and Rally car. It's only good for display because the rear wheels are touching the panels, so it won't roll. I think a car with such big wheels should not sit this high up from the ground. I had a look at the setup and came up with a couple of quick changes. Here is the result. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think it is better or worse? For me, it looks much better. The big wheels are partially hidden by the body panels. The whole car sits lower. I think it looks much better. So what did I change? There are multiple options. This is the lowest one. At the front, there is no suspension at all. The car sits at the lowest position, but the steering still works. At the rear, there is still some suspension travel. I had to keep it because at the lowest position, the wheels are already touching the body panels, so you would need some additional modifications. If you look at the car side by side, you can see the difference. It is mostly visible from the front, but recognizable from all different angles. Now let me show you how can you do this without taking the car apart. First, let's see the rear axle. We start by removing the wheels. Then you need to remove this small grey piece with the black and blue pins. You need to locate this black axle at the bottom, then use another axle to push it upwards. We do this to release that L-shaped pin that holds the side panel in place. Here you can see the axle we just pushed up. Now the rear side of the car can be simply removed. Make sure that black forced that long axle is not connected to that black cross block. Disconnect the panel below the door from the rear blue pin, then detach the black bent lift arm. We do this to get access to the upper attachment point of the spring. If you lift the other black bent lift arm up, you can detach the spring and attach it again, but to the other hole of that light bluish grey cross block. Once it's done, you can put the whole assembly back in place. The purpose of this change is to move the upper attachment point of the springs further from the axle. This will pull the axle up and limit the movement. After this, push the black force that long axle back in the black cross block and then you can put back the body panel. Now push the black axle all the way in, it should fix the body panel. Let's put back the removed piece with the pins and that's it. You should repeat this process on the other side as well. As you see the suspension travel is quite long at the front, this has to be limited somehow. The upper attachment points of the springs are pretty close to the hood, so they cannot be moved easily upwards. We need to find another solution. The easiest way is to remove the brown axle that attaches the springs to the wishbones. First remove this bush, then the axle can be pulled out easily. This is not a nice solution as the springs will be just hanging there and the wheels will also move up and down when you lift the car. But this is the quickest solution and you can do it without any extra pieces. So no suspension at the front and limited suspension at the back. The steering still works and the car can roll freely. Another solution for the front axle is to replace the springs with something that holds the suspension arms in place. It is quite easy to detach the pieces holding the springs. These six stud long half beams are the most obvious choice. If you check the description or the pinned comment, I will put a link there to my webpage where I will give you a list of the extra pieces with part numbers. Now all you need to do is put back everything and attach the half beams to the suspension arms with the original pieces used. And that's it, the wheels won't be hanging anymore when we lift the car. There's still no any suspension at the front, but the car sits low and the steering works properly. What if you want to have some suspension travel at the front, 
but not as much as the original setup. In this case, we will need these seven stud log axles and cross blocks to limit the travel of the suspension arms. All we want to do is to replace those five stud long axles with the seven stud long ones, and the cross blocks at the end will prevent the suspension arms to move down. Here is the axle that we replaced. All we need to do is to put the cross block in place. This is how this setup looks like. It is not as low as the previous solutions, but we still have working suspension on both axles. If we compare it with the original, there is still a significant difference. And here's a little extra. With this lowered setup, if we put on the Mustang wheels, they don't look that wrong anymore, so they will become an option as well. So, let me know in the comments if you like this solution, or if you found anything else to quickly upgrade on your charger. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and tap the notification bell if you want to see more technical reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time. Bye bye.